indulgence, and I'm going to tell two stories, and I'm going to try to tell them both quick. You may have noticed I'm very much in storytelling mode tonight. Um, I don't know why. That's just where I'm at. Story number one. <coughs> Wait, did Dolan just leave the room? No, there he is. Dolan needs to hear this story. Dolan. Dolan, Dolan needs to hear this story. I already told him a small part of the story. This is another no shit, there I was. No shit, there I was in a Calentieri Herald's Tavern. <laughs> Getting goosed by Queen Susanna. <laughs> I was not a Kalantiri citizen. I have never been a subject of the fine kingdom of purple and gold to the south. However, I had gone to an event that Nordskogen was holding jointly with Cordon Lee in Harold's Hill. And at this time, we were still part of the Middle Kingdom, <coughs> just to make it more complicated. And at that event, we had, in fact, the king and queen of the middle, who I think may have been Alice, may have been Alice Karen Gunievre, I don't remember for certain. We had the, at least the princess of North Shield, we had all of the royalty of Calentir, and we had the baronage of North Skogen and Cordon Lee. And other than myself, there was one herald on site who knew how to even boast in such a crowd of shiny hats. And in the middle of the court meeting, she got sick. Came back to Harold's point and said, So, Mikey, how do you feel about running court? <laughs> I don't live here. <laughs> yeah, about that. Uh, how do you feel about running court? <laughs> and so, fortunately, I'd, I'd spent the day at Harold's Point getting to know their heralds. I'm like, all right, who else here knows how to do court at all? And there were two of them. And I said, okay, you two are going to go read the scrolls, and you're going to divvy them up between you, because you're the ones who know these people. I'm going to let you read their scrolls. Fortunately, between them, they knew about three quarters of the court list. So they were very happy to get that chance. And there I was, heralding... Kalantiri court, not having any idea of Kalantiri ceremonial or anything like it. <laughs> they looked at me funny a couple of times, but I got through it somehow intact. <laughs> and somewhere there is a photograph, I think Baron Jeffy has it, before court at the cabins on site, of me standing with my arm around Her Majesty Susanna, and she is losing me. <laughs> That's story number one. <coughs> the other story is much more recent. It's another story from Gulf Wars, and I want to tell this story because Shavit is still here. <coughs> because this is the story of the Anstior and Rose Tournament. North Shield won the Anstior and Rose Tournament this year for the first time in 25 years at Gulf Wars. Specifically, Master Kavaliuk McKinley won that tournament. Now, the format of the Anstior and Rose Tournament is that each current or formal royal consort who wishes to may sponsor, the current royal consorts may sponsor, one junior rapier combatant, meaning someone who does not hold a white scarf or equivalent or mastery, uh, and one who does. And so I had sponsored uh, Audrey Cross, who many of you know as Stabby, as my junior, and Simon Morcar Longreach as my senior. And Elishava had sponsored Cavalier. But Shava had to leave before the tournament, which was Friday morning. Both of my combatants, despite fighting very well, were eliminated early, in the very first round. Morcar was eliminated by this fellow from Anstayora named Master John. Let me tell you something, Master John outreached Longreach. Ah. Despite the fact that he's about my height, maybe a little shorter, and about that big around. <laughs> but he's been fighting since he was 14. He's homeschooled, and rapier was his physical education. <laughs> <laughs> so this 23-year-old is fast. <laughs> Very fast. And he was fighting with a longer blade than Simon went out with, because Simon's already gotten a ridiculously long arms. He didn't think he needed his 45. <laughs> he got outreached. Probably out fought too, but definitely outreached. That's not anything against Simon, because at the end of the tournament, it was Master John 
and Master Cavalier. So that tells you how good John was. <laughs> and in fact, because of the format of the semifinals, John and Cavalier had already faced each other and it had been a pretty even fight, although Cavalier had come out just ahead. Well, in that very final, if I remember correctly, Cavalier took the first point. They double killed the second. And on the third, there was some confusion. Kai remembers getting legged and went down to his knees. Master John, however, remembers two things that ultimately were the crux of the battle. First, he remembers getting Kai's dagger right here, which all by itself is a kill. Kai didn't remember actually making that hit. But more to the point, Master John, Master John remembered that somehow he had managed to get his sword down Kai's boot, <laughs> which is illegal. And so for that reason all by itself, Master John called himself dead. Kavaliuk attempted to call it off and said, let's at, let's at least refight this. He looked to me because I was kind of standing in for Shava as his inspiration, which, by the way, all Shava had told him is go out there and have fun, and that's great inspiration. <laughs> but I have to admit, when he started coming to me before his bouts, I looked down at him and I said, with some instinct, I don't know where it came from, I said, kill. <laughs> John, this is like each of his bouts when he came to me before the bout. I, I don't know why, I just felt he needed that extra boost. <laughs> it, it may not actually have done him some favors because he actually was a little injured by the end of it all. Uh, it said, kill, kill, kill. Veins between my teeth. Uh huh. And I watched it kindle. And I watched him realize that he could with just that little bit more effort, actually take this. <coughs> so it came down to that fight. And it came down to a moment when Kai was pretty sure he'd been legged, and that he had the disadvantage and they should keep fighting. And Master John said, no. You got me in the belly, and I got you down your boot. We're done. It's yours. Cavaliac McKinley is the winner of the Onskior and Rose Tourney in the 26th inspired by the shopping. Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>